So we are hanging out today at the new local coffee shop here and on Main Street and it's so appropriate because we want to talk to you guys about the Main Street Alabama program. Now we mentioned this mayor, what, a few months back, Several right? Several months ago. And it was more to come, right? Well, That's we've right. got the more to come. Um, Ms. Jackie Batson is here and gonna talk to us a little bit about what is happening. Can you tell us who Jackie is and what she's gonna be doing here? Jackie is our new director for the Calera Main Street project we okay. have going on. Okay. Now, We're excited to have Jackie and she is on board and has hit the ground running. And yeah. Been quite successful so far. And you told me that there's a board of directors, there right? Is. So talk a little <laughs> bit about, Jackie, can you tell us a little bit about how that works? Absolutely. So as an executive director, I serve at the pleasure of a board. We're a separate 501c3 from the city, but it's a public-private partnership, which is what makes this very, very successful. Okay. It's going to take a whole community coming together to um, do all of the things that, that we have planned. Yeah. And that's that's very exciting. But I've, I am backed by a really great group of non-board members that are all very supportive. And from that, we are developing committees and we're just, we're tackling this um, with the proven four point approach, which is part of Main Street, Alabama. So it's just a real honor to be here as part of Calera Main Street as a designated community. We're official now. Yes. And I've yes. been, uh, yes, and that's very exciting. I know you all have been trying, um, working toward this for a very long time. And and I'm just honored that you guys chose me to be part of the team. And I've been here for almost a month now, so we're, okay. we definitely have hit the ground running. Now, I saw on the Main Street Facebook page, mm -hmm. which you guys definitely need to go check that out. It's going to keep you in the know. Um, you talked about the four-point approach. That mm -hmm. is all on there. You can read in detail about those four points. Yes. Um, the board is on there. Uh, it's, there's just a lot of information that will keep you up to date on what is happening. Can you specifically talk about what is happening? What's going on right now? Well, we did a very fun little event. We threw it together at the very last minute, but we just recently had a trunk or treat, yes. which a few people attended. Uh, just, a few. just a few. I think we waited in line for like a couple hours, but it was so much fun. Well, thank you. I mean, it was great. Thank the family you. loved it. It was it was a blast. It was a very simple event. But the, the whole purpose of those kind of events are to bring our community back to downtown so that they can see what it's like to, to be here and be involved. Yeah. Um, I'm very, very proud. I know that you're going to be talking more later, but for Adventurers Coffee Co. I mean, we have a brand new coffee um, shop that is in town right on Main Street now, and that's exciting. We did a ribbon cutting for them last weekend. Uh, that's a really big deal, and, you know, it may be kind of a secret, but we've, we're looking at at least three other places that may be opening in the next month or two. So okay. there will be more to come, a lot more, okay. more to come, but we have grand plans. Um, and again, you know, it's kind of a marathon. It's right. not going to happen overnight, uh, but, but we will try to maintain momentum and have lots of fun things to share along the way. And I really like that you said that because I do think that when some exciting news comes mm -hmm. out, we expect to see change tomorrow but that yes. is not going to happen and there is constant change but you may not be able to see it right you, you know there's you, you relationships being built yes, yes. We're, we're enticing retailers to come to town we're yes. seeking entrepreneurs we're looking for people that want to be part of Calera. yeah and that's exciting and along the way we'll involve our citizens too so it's it really is exciting it's it it's is. a fun job and mayor when we started this i think the kind of tagline was like everybody get on board yep That's right correct. and we still need everybody on board and it is a marathon so there will be more to come and i think we'll probably have these conversations every few months to I'd keep you to. guys you know uh, let you know what's going on and just let you know that there is progress being made even if we don't see it on the storefronts yet but what we do see a lot of construction going on, Chris, right? Yes, ma'am. Yep. Can you tell us a little bit of updates about the construction on the roads here? Uh, give me an update. Uh, we're sitting here right off of Highway 25 this morning, and so we've had the widening project uh, on Highway 25 in front of the police station, in front of Central State Bank and Savemore. Uh, that project is substantially complete now, which means, you know, we're through paving, we're through striping, we're at the point now where we're getting ready to do final inspections and okay. process final pay requests. So that project is is basically complete. I think that's made a big improvement uh, with traffic, especially folks trying to get in and out, trying to go to the elementary school, go to the bank, yeah. go to the police station. 
uh, in, in different directions. So that's been a big improvement. Uh, and then our big project, the one everybody's always interested in, is the bridge. So uh, we had traffic, I think last time we talked, uh, traffic was moved over onto the temporary part of the road. Yes. Traffic's back now on the permanent part. We're starting to wrap up. Uh, paving operations out there are getting close to being done. Uh, we've paved in the Walmart intersection all the way back up on top of the hill over to the south side of the interstate. And they are getting ready to pour the bridge decks on the rest of the bridge. So we're still hoping and shooting for uh, end of the year. Okay. End, end of uh, 2019, first 2020, hopefully we'll be at that point uh, with a bridge same as we are here where we're, we've got the, the road and the bridge in the service uh, and that we're just waiting to do and, you know, final inspections yeah. and that kind of stuff. But we're, we're that close. And we we're all, so you know, the city said all along that it was going to be a, a two-year project. And yeah. it's like we're going to hit right on two years because we started uh, January of uh, 18th. Cool. So it's... Uh, it's been a long time in the works, and the public's been very patient. We knew that it was going to be tough on the yeah. public and on the businesses in that area, but uh, everyone's hung in there, and uh, yes. we're almost to the finish line. So, so very keep holding on, that. guys. We're <laughs> almost there. Thank you for yeah. letting us know yeah. what's going on there. Jackie, we are so excited to hear from you again soon you. and see what all is going on. I know you're going to do great things here in the oh, city. Thank you. Now, Mayor, we got to tell them, check out that Facebook page. <laughs> That's right. Keep updated. You guys are updating that very frequently letting us know what's going on thank you guys for everything you're doing within the city and we'll hear more from you soon thank, thank you thanks, thanks guys